Hello and welcome to this overview of Manjaro Linux 26.0. The latest major release from this popular Arch space distribution, codenamed Anlin. This version arrived on January 4th, 2026 and introduces a range of cutting edge updates designed to enhance performance, usability and compatibility. Whether you are a seasoned Linux user or just exploring alternatives to mainstream operating systems, Manjaro 26.0 offers something for everyone. In this video, we will cover the key features, what's new in the desktop environments, important software updates, and how to get started, all while ensuring a smooth transition for your setup. First, a quick background. Manjaro Linux stands out for its rolling release model, which means you get continuous updates without needing to reinstall for new versions. It's built on Arch Linux but adds user-friendly tools like hardware detection and a graphical installer, making it accessible for beginners while retaining the power and flexibility that advanced users love. This version builds on the previous Zitar version from April 2025, incorporating months of refinements and the latest open source innovations. At the heart of Manjaro 26.0 is the Linux kernel 6.18 LTS which provides long-term support for stability and includes optimizations for modern hardware, better power management, and enhanced security features. If you have older equipment that might not play well with the newest kernel, don't worry, alternative options like the 6.12 LTS and 6.6 .6 LTS kernels are available in the ISO images and through the package manager. This flexibility ensures broad compatibility across different systems. One of the most exciting aspects of this release is the support for multiple desktop environments, each with significant upgrades. Let's start with the flagship XFCE edition. Now at version 4.20. XFCE remains a lightweight, efficient choice that's ideal for users who prefer a traditional desktop experience. New features include file highlighting in the Tunar file manager, where you can assign custom colors to draw attention to specific files, as well as recursive search capabilities for easier file hunting. The panel has been refined with pixel based length adjustments and an option to keep it above windows, allowing maximized apps to fill the screen behind it. Additionally, the control center now offers more customization, such as disabling header bars in dialogs or setting default behaviors for multiple monitors. Now, moving to KDE Plasma 6.5. This edition defaults to the VLAN display server for improved performance, smoother graphics, and better security compared to the older X11 system. Highlights include rounded corners on all Windows edges for more polished look automatic switching between light and dark themes based on the time of the day, and an expanded application permissions page that lets you control features like screenshot access. Remote desktop sharing via RDP now supports clipboard syncing, and there is even a handy notification for low printer ink levels. The KDE Gear 25.12 and Frameworks 6.21 suits round out the package with updated apps and underlying improvements. Now, for the GNOME users, version 49 brings a host of refinements, also defaulting to Wayland. The Calendar app has a more flexible interface that adapts to different window sizes and includes a hideable sidebar for compact setups. The software app is faster and more efficient, especially when handling large repositories like FlatHub, thanks to optimized data parsing. GNOME 49 also introduces HDR optimized wallpapers with enhanced color depth for compatible displays, plus expanded remote desktop features for seamless connections from other devices. A standout addition in Manjaro 26.0 is the first stable integration of the Cosmic Desktop environment at version 1.0.1 Developed in Rust for reliability and speed, Cosmic offers a modern, customizable interface 
that's gaining traction as an alternative to traditional desktops. This marks Manjaro as one of the early adapters, giving users a fresh option to experiment with. Beyond the desktops, the release includes updates to core components and applications. Graphics drivers have been bumped to Mesa 25.3.2 and NVIDIA 590, providing better support for recent GPUs. Though note that NVIDIA 590 series no longer supports older cards like Pascal, GTX, 10XX or earlier models. If that's your hardware, you'll need to install legacy drivers such as the 575XX or 570XX series using Manjaro's NVIDIA driver assistant tool to avoid further issues. Other notable software includes Mozilla Firefox 146 for secure browsing, LibreOffice 25.8.4 for productivity, GStreamer 1.26.10 for multimedia handling, WirePlumber 0.5.13 for audio management, and Elsa 1.2.15.1 for sound system improvements. A key change to be aware of is, is the shift to VLAND in Plasma and GNOME, which may result in the loss of X11 sessions on upgrades. If you rely on X11 for compatibility reason, such as with certain apps or hardware, consider sticking with the XFCE edition or reviving Manjaro's known issue guide for walkarounds. Always back up your data before updating. And if you are on older kernel series that's reached end of life, like 5.4 or 6.17, switch to the supported LTS version. If you are installing Manjaro for the first time, head to the official download page for ISO images in full or minimal variants, which is available for XFC, KDE Plasma, and No Edition. This comes preloaded with the 6.18, 6.12, or 6.6 .6 kernels. Now, for the existing users, simply open a terminal and run sudo pacman capital S Y U to pull in updates by our graphical package manager or the command line. Manjaro's ruling nature means no full reinstall is needed. In summary, Manjaro 26.0 and Lin delivers a balanced mix of innovation and reliability, with VLAND adaption signaling a forward-looking approach, while options like XFCE ensures backward compatibility. It's a strong choice for anyone seeking a versatile Linux distro. If you encounter any hiccups, the Manjaro forums and documentation are excellent resources. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you tried this release or have questions. Subscribe for more Linux updates, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.